All right, guys. Uh, today we're working on an 07 GTI. Customer complaint is the AC doesn't work. Um, there were faults in there for AC pressure switch open circuit, and uh, my buddy Ash already put a pressure sensor in it. So uh, what we're looking at right here is this G65. I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, that's our pressure sensor. Pin three comes from a fuse, SC4, so battery. And pin one is a ground. And our pin two is gonna be a signal going to the climatronic control module. So I'm just gonna get a shot. We'll check those voltages and look at the signal and go from there. And uh, our pressure sensor right there. We have a mini harness plugged in so that we have our pin three is our power right here. This red one is pin one, it's our ground, and our pin two is our signal right here. Um, right now we are plugged into the power and the ground side of the sensor. And we are looking at, oh, it's a bad glare. Battery voltage. So we can just do a quick voltage job real quick. And then we'll leave our ground in there. And we'll go straight to ground. I'm gonna hold that real quick. Thanks. And there's our ground. Zero one. It's pretty good. Right here. And there's our put this on the positive side. Alright, and here's our battery positive voltage jaw. Right here I'm just going from the sensor positive to battery positive. Thank you, sir. So now we are hooked up to the signal that's around right there. And right, so now we're hooked up to our signal wire. And this is our signal. It should be a pulsed on and off 12 volt signal. And we are seeing a little bit of a pulse in there but that's not what we want to see. So uh, what we're going to do is do a quick bypass test on the sensor and see if we can get the AC to work. So right now I got my test light hooked up to battery positive and see my test light lights go on the ground and I just have this exposed right here just so that I can, when I tap on this, it's going to give me a 12 volt square wave on my pressure sensor. So you have square wave, our pulse. All right, so one thing with these systems is that you have to clear the fault in order for it to work. So I'm gonna have my uh, esteemed colleague, Ash, he's gonna clear the fault and we're gonna give this a square wave pulse and we'll just have Ash jump in the car and he's gonna tell us if our AC is working. So, all right, Ash, what's that? I know. I do, I have one in my toolbox. All right, go ahead and clear it. All right, so we're just gonna give this some 12 volt pulses. The dash is gonna clear the fault. And already, already you can hear our fans kick on. What's it feel like in there? Getting cold? Yeah? That's pretty cool. And as soon as I stop, as soon as I stop tapping on this, because that's all I'm doing, I'm just tapping on this to give it a signal. And I'm just gonna let off. And our fans are gonna shut off. So our fans are kicked off and see our signals back down. That could be something else. At least, at least we know that the, the AC works, you know? So, after that, our fans kick off. And, uh, is it, is it there again? Mm -hmm. yeah. And 
our high pressure sensor. Open circuit, short to ground is back. But uh, real cool bypass test. Just by tapping on and off the sensor. You can't do this with every sensor and you also need to know the circuitry when you're doing this. Otherwise you could damage some things. But real cool that we could do this and show it on this one. This car obviously needs a high pressure sensor. And uh, we're gonna do that and see you later. All right, so uh, we have our pressure sensor installed now. Once again, down in right there. And we're just hooked up to our signal and it's beautiful. This is a 12 volt on off signal. Nice and cold in here. A bit there. <laughs> Beautiful. We got our signal there. Our fans are on. AC pressure switch bypass test. Pretty cool. That's a fix. <laughs> 